So we're currently in Jish. It's a very small village. Uh, it's about three miles away from the border. The guy I'm meeting today is a Maronite, which I didn't expect. Not a Lebanese one, one who was descended way, way back, centuries in this area. There's like the sounds of explosions going on around us every now and then, and also drones. And the funny thing is because this is a valley, the Galilee uh, Hills, because of the echoes, you can't actually tell. And even the intelligence person we spoke to couldn't tell whether it's Hezbollah or Israel, the drones or the explosions. You have no idea. Which is... He said we can only be on this hill for about two or three minutes. So, exciting. <laughs> okay, you see, that's the border. Uh, you see, the closest point to the border is that area where's the antenna or the tower over there in the hill. Mm -hmm. That's a community called Dovev. That's the border, you, you see the curve, that's the border, and nearby there's a chicken farm, and Dovev itself, both were hit by anti-tank missiles. They didn't hit tanks, they hit community, homes, civilians, electrician was killed there, fixing electricity, people, synagogue was hit in Dovev. You see here, this is a kibbutz Bar'am, also, hit so many times by Hezbollah from uh, Marun el Ras. This is Marun el Ras. You see that village, the highest peak, that's called Marun el Ras. By the name Marun el Ras, it's supposed to be a Maronite homeland, Maronite town, with people live there, Maronites. But it's not. People who live there are Shia Muslims who support Hezbollah, who Iran, with the intelligent officer sitting in it, and managing all this region. So that's Marun el Ras showing you who are the original people who were living here in this land and today are not. Below it, you have Yarun. Yarun, it's another town. And you have Yarun and Binjbel back then, back after. That's Binjbel. Binjbel is there. That's what they call the, the Binjbel, terror town, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You see Marun el Ras and Binjbel, you continue a little bit with the slopes. Furthermore, you see Benjbel. You see that tower far away, there's like tower. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a Maronite town called Anibel. Anibel, and nearby another town called Dibel. So there are three Maronite towns here in this region, Dibel, Anibel, and Ermesh, who are surrounded by a Shia, Hezbollah, stronghold, that using them as a human shield, firing missiles from their towns toward North Israel communities, asking for response of IDF in order to destroy Christian homes and churches and get Israel in trouble by saying that they are attacking Christians. People of the world should know this atrocities by Hezbollah by terrorizing Christians and using them as a human shield. And they will do it more and more during the war. They already infiltrated Mount Lebanon. They did tunnels in Mount Lebanon, storehouses of ballistic missiles to fire from nearby Anaya of St. Charbel in order to actually make all of us here stand with them against Israel. If you don't, as Maronite, get rid of this threat in your area, in Mount Lebanon, your area will be hit also. 
I ask my Maronite brothers to act now before it's too late. There is here another town called Avivim. And there is there the Hermon Mountain in front of you. You may maybe see the peak of it. That's the Hermon Mountain. Uh, Syria front starts there. So all this region from the west to the east, all of it together about 72 kilometer distance or long, long. And this is what we call the northern front. Iran, Hezbollah. And, uh, and Syrian, uh, pr like Iranian Syrian uh, proxies, Shia proxies are in Syria. They call it what we call ring of fire and one front Iran. Today, you think we are bordering with Lebanon. I don't see it Lebanon. I see Iran here. I see Hezbollah, which is Iran. There's no difference. So it's all Iranian who are planning that. And I hope if people of the world want peace and the Arabs want peace, and the Arabs are threatened by Iran too, they should stand with Israel in order to defeat Iranian evil regime and make peace in the Middle East. That's what we should act and how we should act in the future. Um, if you have questions, let me know in this front and I will explain it. Uh, the question is, you said we're exposed to Lebanon. Yeah. Lebanon is in front of you. This mountain, all this front is Lebanon. When you say exposed, can, like, can... All the barren land is Lebanon. The green is Israel, the barren land, the brown is Lebanon. This is a really stupid question. When you say exposed, can people see us? With, yes, like... they see you and they now asking themselves, who is this guy? Yeah. Is it the Maronite who ran away in the 80s we he's wanted or not? Or not? You know, They're something. not the first people to say that, right? Um, <laughs> Binge Bale is where they fought that really hard battle in 2006, right? Binge yeah. Bale, yeah. Yeah. You see, those, all these homes are serving Hezbollah as intelligence bases, deceiving people, saying, like, they gave money from 2006 war, after 2006, to build these homes in our, in the slopes close to the border in order to collect intelligence on our side, hmm. under civilian cover. All those homes were not there before 2006. So, just for you to know. Yeah, okay, sure last week all this region was in fire. I think it's better to... Yeah, go yeah. that was my other question is, can we, can we go down? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Let's go now before it's too dangerous for us. <laughs> because the other lady we spoke to, she was showing us pictures of guys with binoculars yes. in those areas. God. Finish? Yeah. You got so. the point? 